now Phil's in the kitchen with a guaranteed winner. We're very excited. So it's excited, a big, Phil. fat <laughs> sausage roll. Isn't that right? It's delicious. It's the Ew. biggest sausage roll I've ever seen. Ew, it is. Have a look at this. Look at that. It's a beauty. Oh, it's a thing of absolute joy. Um, and we have made sort of different types of sausage roll over the years. Oh, Phil. Just you got to get a few things, basic things right. The best to thing it. you've ever done. Oh, this is really? lovely. Yeah. Sausage it, roll. Like, it's up there with Christmas dinner. <laughs> Your Christmas dinner's insane, but oh. this is just so But we've good. also, we've also got a brown sauce as well. So I'll try to mimic brown. We'll come on to that in a second. Which is kind of like red sauce. It, 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 if you're blindfold... Honestly. Right, would you... You wouldn't know. It's a very difficult thing to it's do. It's delicious. I know. I, that's well, how you sad my life... to make it yeah, while we... That's how it. sad my life is. I'm just checking out. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Sausage roll. So... Different shapes and sizes, all for about £1.20 each, something like that. Very, very simple. So, in here, I have sausage meat. Now, the golden rule of sausage meat is the cheaper it is, generally speaking, the more fat's in it. And you need now, that. This is not necessarily so a is bad that a good thing. thing. Well, fat is flavour. But if you take out fat, uh. so most burgers between 15 20 percent, something like that. If you take that out and less fat, it becomes drier and more crumbly. Yeah, dry. So, I quite like. The whole point about sausage is poor man's food, so it was generally a, ch a cheap food. But oh. this is around about 20% 20 fat, and you can tell by the colour, the, the redder it is, obviously, there's more meat. Mm. I do juice it up a little bit, so I add some fresh, dried sage, a little bit of nutmeg. Now, not a, not a huge amount, because it actually will overpower the sausage meat, but sausage meat's got, already got a seasoning in it. Pork mm. and sage, it so does the business, ab doesn't it? Absolutely, but no salt is needed, because there's already salt in here. Normally preserving right, okay. salt, that's what keeps it nice and pink. Um, I do add pepper, which I a little bit of pepper into there, because I love pepper. Oh, yeah. So it's all about seasoning the meat, really. 100%. And One taste. of my favourite uh, butchers that I don't live near, near anymore, so I don't go there so much, they do a sausage called the Directors. Yeah. And they put mace in it. What does that do? So mace is very similar to nutmeg. So nutmeg is the nut, mace is the coating around it. And when you go and pick it off a tree in, in foreign countries, it's actually deep purple. It looks like mesh. Really? And they take that off, and as it dries, it goes deep yellow. So it's the outside of the nutmeg husk. The sausage was amazing. It's really you know that. It's delicious. Nice. But it's a milder flavour than nutmeg. Gotcha. Right. So I know this is around about 15% fat, so I do add breadcrumbs. Now, the only reason I do that is if it's slightly more, well, I should say, cheaper end of the sausage market, you get a bit of fat. The breadcrumbs will soak that fat up. And so what happens is you don't get, if I'll show you on there, you don't get that soggy bottom there. Because oh, the fat get wet. Has soaked up into here, yeah. Oh, great. So, generally speaking, though. So, all I do, mix this up, OK, and give it a good mix up. You can put an egg in if you want to hold it even further, and you'll end up with a little sausage like I've done here. Now, all I've done here is just roll it up in a bit, or Tilly has, <laughs> um, into a sausage shape, forgive the pun, yeah. purely because I want to put it in the pastry so it fits perfectly. If you don't do that, what tends to happen is you put it on the pastry, you try to mould it, it goes all over the place. Yeah. This way, keeps it nice and cylindrical. OK, so what you do, roll that onto your pastry. And what I normally do is put it into the centre, or slightly off centre, and then egg one side of the pastry. OK? Do you know, I've never made a sausage roll in my whole life. Well, when I was a young so chef, easy. When, when I finished what I started in, in my last year in school, first thing you made was sausage rolls. Really? <laughs> the first thing, yeah. So that, you can get that right. I like, the, I like the fact it's a big one, though, you know. That and like... cottage pie. Yeah, it wasn't meaty, don't you? Yeah. It's nice if you've got, like, people coming over, just do yeah, a big it's sausage roll. done. It's dead Up simple, yourself. especially you can buy the pastry now. We used to make the puff pastry, yeah. goodness sake. You know, that's, that's a different thing. Now, what you want to do is roll it up here. Yeah. And what I tend to do is set it on the, on, on the seal, on the, on the edge, just there. Yeah. I just set it on there, so like that. So when you put it onto the tray, that hold it from springing out and going round. So if you put that up here, it'll open up like a. What kind of pastry is that? That's puff pastry. Puff now, pastry. you can make it with puff pastry and short pastry. Well, I quite like short pastry, which is a lot, obviously, maybe large. Yeah. It has a biscuity texture, but with, we've got so much fat in here as well. They t puff pastry tends to hold it mm. and it right. it slightly better. OK, then I just egg this up, la 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 la. This is just, just normal the egg. whole egg, not yep. just the half. Yeah, egg. and then you can make, as I've done here, slashes with a knife. Oh, yeah, you can't that. do that. It's really like is this. That it? it's, is yeah, that what you do? yeah, because it'll open up because it's just puff pastry. <gasps> but if you want to be really chefy, what you can do is go that way as well. Oh, yeah. OK, like that. Tuck, don't bother tucking the ends over because you can eat them anyway. Into the oven. Now, here's the thing when it goes into the oven, you need to. It's like Yorkshire pudding. Cook it and set it, and then when you think it's ready, give it a ten minutes extra. 
and that will oh. set the pastry. Otherwise, what happens is, if you're not careful, it's undercooked. That isn't, you see? That's because we've given it a bit longer in the oven right. at a slightly lower temperature. Anton de Betts here. Can he come and have some... Anton control? can come any time he likes. Come on in, Anton. Good Actual question. fact, whilst, whilst we're doing that... One well, mention Anton's of a sausage here. roll and I'm your man. <laughs> Scurrying like Mr. a rabbit. Mr. Dubeck, fella. Thank you, my you darling. Carry You've on. been working so hard, we thought you'd, you know, sit down and have but some your to studio eat. fit at the moment. Look at me. Are we indulging in this? or? Well, I think I will. Do you know, I've, I've earned it. it. Work <laughs> I'm going to have a little go. It's this looks lovely. absolutely amazing. So, so the pastry at the bottom's cooked? Yeah. And it's actually crunchy as well. Yeah. And the pastry is lovely and so crunchy. So you just tried the brown sauce. This is a homemade yeah. brown sauce. Oh, is it? Oh, if right. I'd known, I wouldn't have put it dunk on. Dunk it, no, no. What do you mean <laughs> if you didn't know? Oh, stop me now. Isn't it? There you go. Oh. Isn't it? <laughs> hey? Dermot, you can oh. hurt that big boy. Go oh, come on. Have a little massage. That's, oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Oh, lovely. Just, hands, just quickly, before you go, brown sauce. If you want yeah. to make your own, you yeah. can bite in the tub, that's fine. In here, I have onions, vinegar, carrots, water. To that, I add Bramley apple, Worcester sauce, tamarind, bit of, um, uh, what do they call it, dates, tomato paste, bit of blah, 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 blah. In there, cook it up, thicken it with starch, gives it a nice mouthfeel, ends up like that one there. If you're blindfolded, oh, you can tell Are you doing that now first. for us? No, you can do that. You can do your thing now. OK. What well, are you then, doing? So what, in you here, what are you doing with the well, clock? When, when the crew found out yeah. we were going to be doing sausage rolls, you think that SAG strike in America's bad? It would have been an absolute nightmare over here. <laughs> <laughs> big so union what, issue. So what's so, in there? Well, so, look, look, they'll have to make extra. Oh. Grey, grey, no for you. Oh, my God. He's, he's <laughs> looking up for everyone. Grey, he doesn't want Steve. You're absolutely on my absolute pleasure. There we go. There we go, Absolutely. Works, doesn't it? Works, doesn't it? Excellent. I didn't know half these people worked on the show. I've never seen this guy before in my life. Where did he come from? <laughs> we should do this all the Damn time. Marella. This is so nice. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Tom, you haven't had any amazing, yet. Amazing, yeah. uh, it's just for Tom. Simple cooking. You know, Tom, you know, you know oh, baking. You deserve it, Tom. Mm. Dead mm. Lovely stuff. Yeah. 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 What, about, what about Carl over here? Oh, oh, that's You're a good man, Dermot. There we go. You're lovely a good man. Stuff, eh? oh. Ken, have you got one there? <laughs> there we go. Take a picture of that. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Liz, Pippet, Warner, everyone's over. What about the cream thing over here? <laughs> Lovely. The home ec crew. I mean, you, you. There we go. It's the fruits of your labours. Here, there we go. Oh, upstairs has got loads. Don't worry about that. We've got coming our way. Here we go. Lovely. Lovely. Do you want to go outside as well? Do you want to feed the 5,000? You know, we're hard-working people on this show. Can I have some more, please? Look at the little clutch. I think you should do <laughs> that all the time. Oh, aren't you a little beauty? I'm going to have that one as well. He's having another you. piece. I'm, having, I'm going Just again. Just a quick recap on the sauce, then. <laughs> Yeah, we'll recap the sauce. Again. Come on, this is what we're after. So this is what this, this is that texture we're after. So if I just tip this towards the camera, you'll see that. So you'll see that lovely soft. See that? So that becomes because you starched it. Now back over to here for a second. So when you put in things like ap apple, Bramley apple, which marmalades anyway, it's nice and soft, and your soft medjool dates, that's fine, and it'll cook down. And if you liquid or in the processor cook it, that's fine. But you need a bit of starch. Yeah. So that could be tapioca, cornflour, arrowroot, which you just mix together. That gives it a nice, soft, almost like mouth, what they call mouth yeah. in the trade. But it's soft and soft, and it gives it a shine as well. And it brings all these solids together. So your onions, your, um, your kidney beans. I like, that, body, I like that better than yeah. ketchup and brown sauce. It's a great... Yeah. It's a, I think you should sell that. the greatest brown sauce ever. <laughs> Isn't it delicious? Do you cook much, Anton? Not cook so much, no. My wife's a great cook. I used to be a baker. I think you did. Knows. I used to be a baker um, for a job uh, years ago. And I, uh, what I love about the baking is the precision of baking. Mm -hmm. Everything you do with baking is done before it goes in the oven. Mm. But with cooking, it only starts mm. when it gets into the, into the frying pan or the, or the pot or anything. That's where you start, the old magic Love stuff, the giving it a bit yeah. of that and a, have a bit Didn't of that. Didn't you do Anton de Bake on this show? Yeah, yes, I did. I we did some cars. It was brilliant. Yeah. Massively successful. I thought we could have got a whole series <laughs> out of it. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> Should have been an ITV show. Well, I think we could do that. <laughs> Anton Jermaine. And if you have any problems at home with your baby, come and see me at Anton. And can you eat what you want, basically? Because you're, you're dancing all the time, working out so much. Like, yeah. do you, have you got to look after your figure, or is it like...? Well, y y y yes and, and yes, really, in answer to your question. I do, um, 
I, I, I'm quite lucky, but you do have to watch what you eat. You have to, you know, the old processed stuff. And, yeah. and also, when you get... This is I'm slightly more serious now. When you get to a certain age as a gentleman, there are certain things you've got to be aware of. <laughs> yes, you we know, know about right. all those things. Well, like, well, we know. The only thing you've got to look forward to as you get older is a prostate examination. <laughs> I mean, that's, <laughs> I mean, there's the future there, gentlemen. We're going right to be there. talking to you much more, Anton, a little bit later. Mm -hmm. If you fancy any of these delicious recipes, <laughs> head to the This Morning app and get the recipe along with <laughs> loads of other chefs. And we've got some great recipes, mm. haven't we?